the doctor speaks and i'm speaking with the tiktok granny doc hat and a little bit of a public service announcement here just saying that in a world that is for apocalypse now for for econ economic collapse momentarily uh, climate chaos uh institutional racism and fascism worldwide oh, and the pandemic still trailing along i i just got so sick up with what i was seeing with the nurses conversation we the nurses just got it healthcare professionals just got most of us in the United States through hell, H-E-L-L, -L, okay? It was worse than the Spanish flu, and we're not really done. We're just kind of coming to some kind of new equilibrium and thinking about the long COVID and all those other things. So I'm not going to go into the details of all these pan multi apocalyptic things but with respect to nurses who trained in three schools uh or did not bought for 15k a piece uh credentials okay can we just remember this is c c capitalist america and credentials are bought all the time i'm not minimizing this particular issue what i'm saying is only out of those 7,000, 2,000 got their actual uh, licenses to practice, meaning they passed the test. So if they passed the test, I'm sorry, but they had to have some training or they'd be weeded out. And if they get weeded out, um, it is probably because that 15K wasn't just because they wanted to be a nurse all their life. It was probably because they had credentials that did not mean jack shit here in the United States. So I just want to say this guild business that we don't talk about and, and, and then to have that all kind of come to a head after the pandemic, these, if these 2000 nurses were so bad, there'd be a lot more dead people. And even, even this statistics that are being shown about this now are suggesting, and I'll put them in, in the chat if I can, um, that this was really, hasn't harmed patients as far as we can tell. So they couldn't have been fake nurses that got there all the way through to the certification. The ones that bought the degrees and then kind of, it didn't work for them, that was a whole bunch. But the ones that bought the degrees and are practicing, gotta have some skill set. And nursing is difficult and you don't pick it up on the job. So just factor in all of that to how you look at how the gaze of America looks at people from different demographics. I said in another place that the hackles on the back of my neck went up when I heard it was black, sub-Saharan African and Haitian nurses. I mean, just the fact that that is how this whole thing is being framed makes every nurse of those particular demographics and ethnicity look suspect shame on america for having introduced even that thought so that's my little bit of a rant it doesn't quite make it if i try to do it uh, places like TikTok. i danced it up i really don't want a whole bunch of conversation about this i just wanted to get it off my chest in a way that i see works best which is with a little bit of light heartedness and a whole bunch of courage and I'll just keep doing my thing over here. Hope anyone watching this is well and that you have a swell time figuring out how to good health, get good health care in these good old untying states of America. Signing off for now.